Good afternoon. I'm Dr. George Van Otten, and my students generally call me Dr. Vio. I started uh, uh, life as a poor farm boy in Oregon, grew up on a dairy farm in uh, Western Oregon, and uh, went to uh, manage to get ahead enough money working in the summers to uh, and work my way through college. Went to Oregon College of Education. I think it was about a thousand students in those days. I won't tell you how far back it was, but let's just say it's more than uh, 40 years ago, almost 50 years ago now. I while I was there, I got this notice from, from the United States government saying, congratulations, your friends and neighbors have selected you to join the Army. I thought maybe uh, that didn't sound as good as the Air Force, so I immediately volunteered for the ROTC, uh, became an Air Force uh, officer upon graduation, went to pilot training, uh, flew C-130s for about five years, a uh, little more than that, I guess, altogether, different aircraft, but C-130s primarily. Uh, then I uh, separated from the Air Force, uh, stayed in the reserves, um, and uh, went back to Oregon State University with GI Bill. Otherwise, poor farm boy, farm boy like me, it never happened. And uh, went for a, a PhD in geography. I uh, spent a little time in Alaska working at uh, as kind of a church mission for our church. There's a, it was a small uh, Native American college, Alaska Native College uh, at Sitka. Uh, and I went up to see if we could keep that going and put a couple of years in there and then came back and was uh, hired as the Dean of the Army Intelligence School here in Sierra Vista, Arizona. And um, we wanted to return to Arizona. My wife's uh, Native American and all my children and grandchildren are enrolled in the uh, Tao Adam Nation and I wanted to uh, be, make sure they could participate in tribal things. So that's kind of how I got into this and how I connected Homeland Security and geography over time.